Alpha Omega Ancient of Days, Daddy, I give you praise. Lord, I want to thank you for your faithfulness. I want to thank you for your power, for your glory. I want to thank you, God, for what you're set to do today on this holy mountain, Faith Clinic and Healing Atmosphere, even on this missionary outreach mountain of PPP, Ancient of Days, Alpha Omega. I'm asking that everybody, oh Lord, I'll be connecting, oh God, to what you'll be doing today on this holy mountain. Jehovah will indeed live with a sure testimony, will indeed live with that assurance that they've met with you. Alpha Omega, Ancient of Days, who says it and it comes to pass where you have not ordained it. Today, oh Lord, let only that which I've ordained catch up with your church, catch up with your people. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, God, for preserving us up till today. Daddy, thank you for everyone fasting, for everyone praying. Father, today you are commanding us to pray against any form of disconnection. And Daddy, only you can help us to avoid sea finish, to avoid any disconnection, to avoid anything that will truncate what you're doing in our life. Alpha, Omega, beginning and the end, in the name of Jesus Christ. Grant us the understanding. Grant us the enablement. Grant us the power. And Daddy, do what you alone can do. Honor and glorify your name. Today, make it glorious. Today, make it powerful. Today, we are praying and not playing. And so, Daddy, empower everyone that will be coming to the mountain to pray and not to play. That your name will be honored and glorified. On this holy mountain, faith clinic and healing atmosphere, I reveal your name, Jehovah. Jehovah, Jehovah. I reveal your name, Yahweh, 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 in the name of Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, Lord, let your power and glory and your mercy be seen. And let your power move, O oh Lord, like never before. We bless you. We thank you, O oh God, for what you have done so far. And we ask, O oh God, Jehovah, that the atmosphere, Daddy, everything go well. Even the internet, let everything go well. And let, Lord, your name alone be honored and glorified. Take control, take over. Take over, take control. I plead the blood of Jesus in Jesus' name. Amen, so shall it be. Amen, so shall it be. Amen, so shall it be. Hallelujah, praise God, praise God, praise God. Praise God, hallelujah. I want to thank God for every man of God. I want to thank God for every woman of God that God has ordained and commanded to be on this holy mountain at this point in time. I'm humbled by what God is doing. Men and women of God, we started like a joke, 21 day fasting, and we've got just about two more days to go because today it happens to be the third day towards the very end of the fast so we have two more days to go and i believe that he that had commenced this um, great work and fasting for us will perfect all that concerns us in jesus name i do want to make you feel welcome in the presence of your father god almighty and i want to make you feel also welcome because of the things that god will be using us to do and the things that he'll be opening our eyes to see so please in the name of jesus christ we often start with a ppp that ppp means praise preaching and prayer and so we're going to start with praise and then we'll move gradually into the, the preaching and prayer so it's going to be both of them because today is friday and every friday it's a time to pray and not to play so i'm trusting god to have brought to bring onto this mountain to have brought onto the mountain and to bring onto the mountain everyone that will be able to catalambano the presence and the power of god to pray and not to play and honestly speaking i feel it so strongly in my heart to play this song as our first song and that is to say weeping is over for you and weeping is over for me as we round up this fast it's going to mark the end of weeping in your life it's going to mark the end of weeping in my life life equally in the name of jesus christ so shall it be in the name of jesus christ so somebody join me as we worship his holy name hallelujah Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Mali brana gadaya daba zeke telemos. Urraba e telemos i katali. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Somebody join me and say, it's the same God. It's the same God. Oh, oh, oh. Who's there for you? Giving up on God. Hey, tell, tell me why you're giving up on him. Oh, my 
not proud. Tell me why you are giving up on God. My brother, my sister, hold on. Change is on the way. A face in a hole. Stop crying. God is in control. What is the problem? Yeah. You know God will not tarry. A world in love and woe. Hold on to your faith. Right away you think God will not lie. It is well. Somebody say with me, it is well with my soul. Ha 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 ha. Weeping we be your for the night. Just gonna come in the morning. You don't, you don't have, have to cry no more. Oh God, by His word, He's gonna do what He says. Lift your hands and give Him praise. Somebody say, "Baby, now, oh, 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 stop crying." I say, God is in control. What is the problem? Yeah, 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 you know God will not tell you one day more for me, beloved. Hold on to your faith. I say, wipe away, you think God, God, God will God not lie. Yeah, it is now, stop crying, crying. Oh, God is in control. What is the problem? You know God will not tell you. Hey, well, beloved, you Hold on to your faith. I say, wipe away, wipe away. God will not lie. Oh, 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 oh. It is well. I know. It is well with my soul. I know you've been wounded, but it's okay. I know you've been broken, but I'm here. Yeah, too many are broken hearted. Believe in me, you don't know God when you give me. I'm the God of all flesh. Nothing is too hard for me. Says Yahweh. I come to see. I raise the dead. Somebody say we do not think that by Yahweh. And not do. Somebody say one can say two. Say lift up your voice and say this in our own words. Stop crying, God is in control. What is the problem? Yeah, le, le, le. God will not tell me what's the more of love. Hold on to your faith. I say, wipe away, wipe away. God will not lie. Yeah. Baby, now, God is in control. What is the problem? You know Yahweh will not turn me, my love, love, I say, hold on to your faith. Wipe away, your to God will not lie. Oh. I love the next song coming and it's a common song. We all know it. We're just telling God in Jesus name, make a way. That's it. Make a way. Somebody gets it. Make a way. My God is going to make a way for you. Tell him, make a way. It's going to make a way for you. No matter where you found yourself, he's a faithful God. Daddy, make a way for us. Ancient of days, make a way, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 Papa God. Oh, 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 you are here. You are here. Mm -hmm. Moving in our midst. You're moving in our midst to love God. I worship you. I worship you, you Adonai. I worship oh, 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 oh. you. I worship you, Lord. You are here. Somebody say God is here. Working in he this place. working in this place for you and me. I worship oh, oh, oh. you. I worship you, Lord. I worship you. Oh, oh, oh. I worship you, Lord. You are here. You are here, Adonai. Moving in our You're moving in our midst, Adonai. I worship you. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I worship, I worship you. you. Somebody say I worship you. You are here. You are here. Working you are working in your will out for us, Daddy God. I worship oh, oh. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I worship oh, oh, oh. you. 
Somebody say, my way make a hope. You are the miracle worker, you are the promise keeper, Lord. The light in the dark for me it is. God is who you are, oh. My way make a hope. You are the miracle worker, you are the promise keeper. The light in the dark for me it is. God is who you are. You are touching every heart, touching every soul. I worship you, Lord. I worship you, Lord. You are here. You are here. You are healing every heart. You're touching every soul. I worship you, Lord. I worship you, Lord. You are here. You are turning That's why I said my way make up. You are the miracle walker, the promise keeper, the light in the dark for me. That is who you are. Oh, my way maker. You are the miracle walker, you're the promise keeper, Lord. In the dark, oh, that is who you are. You wipe away all tears. The broken heart, you're the answer to it all. Ah, do not wipe away all tears. You mend the broken heart, you're the answer to it all. Do it all, I do not. Somebody say, My way, make a way. Miracle walker, promise keeper, the light in the dark for me. That is who you are. My way maker, you're the miracle walker, you're the promise keeper, Lord. Light in the dark for me. Somebody say, My God is here. Yahweh is here. Thank you for your mercy and grace, oh Lord. Oh, 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 oh. Daddy, I worship you, Lord. You are here. You are here. You are here. I worship you. Oh, 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 oh. I worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Our anthem for this particular period of fasting is to ask God for peace and joy. And I want to believe today. God is making, uh, God has made outstanding, remarkable selection of people to stand in the gap and decree peace and joy into our community, nation, into our circumstances and situations of life. I feel to worry. I feel to worry. I feel to worry yeah, yeah, yeah. about the things that I see. That I, have I see. My I've got my peace. I have my, I have joy. my joy. Even when people, Even when people say to me, me, Brother, I'm you are slow. I, have my peace. I say, I've got my peace. I have my I joy. Have my joy. Oh, 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 oh. It's never snow. I've got my peace. I have my, I have my joy. joy. And I will wait on Lord, cause He will never fail. Oh, oh, oh. I've got my peace. I have my, I have my joy. joy. My life, oh, my life depends on You, you Jesus. Yahweh. Somebody said my future lies in your hands. 
Adonai Jehovah. I raise, I raise my hands in sorrow. Now somebody say, Lord, give me peace. Daddy, give me peace. Lord, give me joy. Oh, oh, oh. My life, Adonai, depends on you. Yahweh. My future lies in your head, Adonai. Oh, I raise my head in surrender. Adonai, give me peace. Daddy, give me joy. I fail to worry about the things that I see. I have got my peace. I have my joy. People say, say to me, brother, you are blue. I have my, I have my peace in Christ. I have my joy. I will wait oh, oh, oh. my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He will never let us down yet. I got my peace in Christ. I said, I got my joy. Oh, my trust is in the Lord. And it will oh, oh. My life depends on you, Yahweh. My future, Daddy, lies in your hand. Oh, oh, I raise, I raise my hand. Oh, Lord, to you, Daddy, oh, give me joy. My life. I raise my hand, raise my hand to you, Lord, to you, Papa. Oh, Daddy, give me joy. My life, oh, oh, depends on you, Yahweh. My future, Daddy, lies in your hand. Lift up your voice and say, I, I raise, I raise my hand. Oh, Lord. Daddy, oh, Daddy, give me joy. Hey, in the valley, more daddy can die. I want to go to God, Abraham. I have my peace in Christ. I have my joy. Oh, 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 oh. I have my peace in Christ. I have my joy. I have my peace, I have my joy, my life depends on you, on you alone, lies in your hands, yeah, I raise, I raise my hand, oh Lord, to you daddy, oh. My life depends on you, Jesus. My future lies in your hand. I raise, I raise my hands, oh Lord, to you, Daddy. Oh, give me joy. Adonai, give me joy, your heart, give me peace, yeah, yeah, give me joy, yeah, 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 give me peace, Lord, give me, Lord, give me, oh, 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 Adonai, yeah, yeah, ba, 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 yo, no, 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 oh, 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 give me peace, give me joy, give me peace, Adonai, Give us peace, yeah, give us 
There are a set of people this year that will have, you know, opposition from God directly. And I will tell you those kind of people. And those kind of people, the plan of the powers of darkness is to ensure that their boldness is greatly reduced. Their access is greatly, you know, hindered. And of course, that will, at, in the long run, affect their confidence through Christ Jesus. But everyone that will be careful to note what the Spirit is going to tell us today then you can be rest assured that your access will be very um, optimized and your, your boldness will be as God expects it to be. And as a result of that, your confidence through Christ Jesus will be something to write home about and everybody would be forced to use you as a reference point for their prayer point. But let us start very quickly, man of God, woman of God. Today, we are here to pray and not to play. We are here to pray and not to play. So somebody please join us. We start to plead the blood, plead the blood, plead the blood, plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Straight away without wasting time, plead the blood. Man of God, woman of God, plead the blood. Plead the blood, plead the blood, plead the blood of Jesus. Reka ba 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 ba. Jege dele gadala ba. Mandre leke baradalimo. Musa ke baratoso. Honga delima e kandalie. What God is about to show us today is going to be an eye opener, not for too many, but the way He's going to bring it across to us is going to be what will make it the eye opener to as many that are under the sound of my voice. Plead the blood, plead the blood. Man of God, plead the blood. Plead the blood, plead the blood. Woman of God, plead the blood. The power of God is here. The mercy of God is here. I plead the blood upon anyone, everyone. Under the sound of my voice, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ. By fire, by force, I plead the blood. I plead the blood, I plead the blood. That every man may have an encounter with the Lord today. That every man may know, that every man may say that it can only be God in the name of Jesus Christ. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Marabaka Dalibo. Zokabadeke Teli. Ibra Lema Katoso. Rubandali Ikandali. Urababa Shake Balagadayagaba. Ragadalagadayagaba. Ragadalagadayagaba. Malagadalagadalaba. Rebrakoso Tolima Eba Limosi Kateli. Izage de Limosi Kantali. Urababa Ekandali. O Kandali Mantoso Kaba. Urabake de Limosi Kabatali. Urababa Endrele Keteli. Masha Katali Mosikaba, Hallelujah, even in the dream, grave, Jehovah, Latoso, Copa Tosikaba, Egele Bantali, Maroko Toso, Libra Keteli Mosikaba, in the name of Jesus, by Jesus, Mala Dayagaba, Maya Gadalagadayagaba, Rabba Gadalabatosi, Ragadalagadalagaba, in the name of Jesus Christ, even in the grave, Hallelujah, even in the grave, Jesus is Lord. Somebody join us, Holy Ghost, take control, take over, Holy Spirit, take control. Control, take over. Holy Spirit, take over, take control. Wherever you may be, join me. Holy Spirit, take control, take over. Holy Spirit, take over, take control. In Jesus' name. Today, Holy Spirit, wear us with the grace to stand in the gap. With the grace to decree and declare. With the grace to stand in the gap, decree and declare. With the grace to speak the word of, the, of God, the word of truth. In Jesus' name. That word that is able to liberate, that is able to liberate, that is able to bring forth that which God has intended before the foundations of the earth were laid. Put in prayer, put in prayer, prayer. Put in prayer, prayer, prayer. La gayada la gayada la gama. La gada la gada la gada la gama. Put in prayer, put in prayer, prayer. Put in prayer, 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 prayer. La shanta mo si kama. E ba deli ke teli ba ke teli mo. O raga ba dosu kama. Je ke teli kandali mo. Ruba ke teli mo si kama. Jesus, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Put in prayer, prayer, prayer. Hallelujah. Somebody type the word low. Please type the word. High looks. The first thing we want to talk about high looks. Please type the word high looks. We want to pray against any spirit, any spirit, any power that forestalls 
or that engineers high looks. Somebody type the word high looks. The power of the Holy Spirit will want to arrest any form of and every form of high looks. Any form of and every form of high looks. Somebody type the word high looks in the name of Jesus Christ. Any form of every form of high looks. May the power of God, may the glory of God, may the power of God, the glory of God arrest any and every form of high looks. Any form of high looks in your environment, in the environment of your loved ones. Any form of every form of high looks. Ikaye batali musikaba. Ikaye batali musikaba teli. Honga gaga ga. Any form of every form of high looks. In Jesus' name, wherever, anywhere, everywhere, wherever, anywhere, everywhere, high looks, wherever, anywhere, it's about to manifest or it's manifesting. Any form of high looks. Oh Lord God Almighty, let the power of the Holy Spirit uproot. Let the power of the Holy Spirit destroy high looks. High looks. High looks. If you if you come with me to Psalms chapter eighteen, Psalms chapter eighteen. Praise God. Psalms chapter eighteen. Psalms chapter eighteen. From verse twenty five. Psalms chapter eighteen from verse twenty five. We are focusing on high looks, pride, high looks, pride, not seeing oneself the way God sees one. High looks. But before we get there. Psalms chapter 18 verse 25 With the merciful thou will show thyself merciful With the upright thou will show thyself upright 26 With the pure thou will show thyself pure And with the forward thou will show thyself forward 27 For thou will save the afflicted people But will bring down high look Thou will save the afflicted people Thou will save afflicted people And bring down high looks To the merciful thou will show thyself merciful to the upright thou should thyself upright we want to ask god for one singular grace this year in the name of jesus christ oh lord grant us the grace to be what to be merciful as in to be merciful because our god is merciful to be merciful a lot of people are not even merciful to themselves how then can they be merciful to god's people a lot of people they are not merciful to themselves how then can they be merciful to god's people lord teach us to be merciful Lord, teach us to be merciful, not to look down on other people, not to look down on other people, not to look down on other people, not to make other people feel as if they are not worthy of existing or living. Let us, oh God, grant us the grace not to look down on any, daddy, but to value everyone the way you have valued and have mercy the way you have mercy. Bible said that as our father is in heaven, so are we here on earth. If that be true, that as our father is in the heavens, so are we on earth, then myself and you need to, by fire, by force, carry some character traits. The word is character traits. If God have mercy, then you and I should have mercy. If truly we are the image of God. Oh Lord, teach us to have mercy. Somebody join me. Teach us to have mercy. Teach us, oh Lord, to avoid high looks. Teach us to, to avoid high looks. High looks. High looks. I looks as in L O O K S. What Orlando type is most correct? H high looks, pride. High looks, high looks, pride. Okay, so that we can understand that if God can have mercy, nothing stop myself and you from having mercy. All those typing, I appreciate you. Thank you for typing for us. In the name of Jesus Christ, teach us your mercy. Teach us to have mercy. Teach us to show mercy. Teach us to show mercy. Thank you for the typing. High looks correct. Teach us to have mercy. A lot of people are not even merciful to themselves. They are not merciful to themselves. So how can they be merciful to God's creation? How can they be merciful to the handwork of God? Oh Lord, teach us. Teach us to be merciful. For to the merciful, you show yourself merciful. Everyone that sowed the seed of mercy receives mercy. Everyone that sowed them a seed of pure, that is uprightness. Everyone that sows the seed of uprightness receives uprightness from God. May God grant us the spirit of uprightness. May God grant us the spirit. Every temptation for us to cut corners. Every temptation for us to be like somebody. Every temptation for us to do what others are doing. Oh Lord, take away. Oh Lord, take away. Every idea, every desire, urge 
to to be like those who are claiming to have high looks every urge desire every pressure of any kind to be like those who are claiming to have high looks Oh Lord, take away by fire, by force. Somebody join me. Holy Ghost, take control, take over. Holy Ghost, take over, take control. Holy, Holy, Holy Ghost, fire. Holy Ghost, power. Holy Ghost, take control, take over. In Jesus' name, take away any and every high looks. Take away any and every high looks. Teach us to be pure. Holiness. Teach us to be pure. Holiness. Teach us to embrace your holiness, your nature. Teach us to embrace your holiness, your nature. In the name of Jesus Christ. Teach us, O oh God, to embrace the truth of your word. A lot of people talk about the word of God, but they don't live the word of God. They don't exist in the word. Oh Lord, grant us the grace to not just be a, a talker not just to be someone speaking, not just to be somebody make, making an announcement, but make us the doers of your word, the doers. Make us a doer. Oh Lord, help us to avoid seeking, to avoid high looks, to avoid high looks, to avoid high looks, to show mercy where necessary, to show pureness, oh Lord, where necessary. Somebody join me in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, teach us. Bible says that to the forward, God will show himself forward. To the one that thinks he is smart, can outsmart anybody and everybody. Bible says that the same seed that person is sowing, that person will reap. That same seed the person will reap. Hallelujah. In, in, in Psalms chapter 18 verse 26. Psalms 18 verse 26. To the forward. The B part with the forward, thou shalt show thyself forward, oh Lord. Everyone that is trying to play smart, everyone that is being forward, as touching my life and destiny, as touching your purpose in my life, oh Lord, arrest somebody. Join me, tell this God, Lord, arrest that we need you to arrest anyone, everyone that is forward, anyone, everyone that is forward with what with anything that has to do with our destiny, that has to do with our purpose and plan in the land of the living anyone everyone everyone anyone oh lord that wants to have anything to do with our plans and purpose oh lord in jesus name that the arrest that is scatter that it destroy only your will will come to pass in the name of jesus christ to the forward lord show yourself forward to the forward show yourself forward and to the upright oh lord show yourself upright everyone that is uprightly serving everyone that is uprightly doing your will everyone that is uprightly logging in oh lord log in oh god and let your name alone be honored and glorified in the name of jesus christ please type the word enlighten my darkness enlighten my darkness god cause light to open up my darkness cause light to open up my darkness oh lord cause light to open up my darkness hallelujah <coughs> Cause light to open up my darkness. Cause your light to open up my, my darkness. Enlarge my darkness. Somebody, I don't know whether your darkness is finances. I do not know whether your darkness is your emotional life. But I know God can enlarge. God can expand. God can increase. God can bring dimensions of view into. Hallelujah. Somebody join me and say, enlarge. Enlighten, enlarge, enlighten. Somebody join me. Enlarge, enlighten. Enlighten my darkness, O Lord, enlighten in Jesus' name. Enlarge, enlighten. Enlighten, enlarge. Help me to understand more and increase. Help me to understand more and bring unbounded grace. Help me to understand more and bring un unbounded insight in the name of Jesus Christ. O Lord, have your way. O Lord, take preeminence, take control. O Lord, have your way, take control. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Liga dala gadala gaba. Rabba baba ba jaga gadala gaba. Reke telima. Upra ke telimo sikaba. Libra ke telimo suka. Uzantali. Uraba isha ke telimo sikaba. Raga dala gaba. To renew our spirit in this in the spirit realm to recharge our spirit what we need to do bible says pray in tongues bible says wait on the holy spirit in jesus name somebody join me 
and start to say enlighten our darkness is there anything that is creating there is there anything that is creating falsehood that is creating misunderstanding that is creating doubt that is creating complex that is creating you know that is creating an atmosphere where there is no there is no assurance of tomorrow. Oh Lord, scatter everything and anything that is creating such impression. Scatter anything and everything. Enlighten my darkness. Enlighten my darkness. Hallelujah. Enlighten my darkness. Verse 28. Psalms 18 verse 28. Lord, enlighten my darkness. Praise God. For thou will light my candle. For thou will light my candle. The Lord my God will enlighten my darkness. Thou will light my candle. I need to explain that. Thou will light my candle. Now, you will agree with me. What is the usefulness of a candle without a light? So, without the light, the purpose of that candle is not achieved. So if one of the purpose of the candle is that there will be light on it. And once the light comes on the candle, then the candle is ready to burn, meaning ready to fulfill purpose. Now, spiritually, some people don't know that candle has a representation spiritually. So maybe some people don't know. Spiritually, candle represents time, time, time. It represents time. So if in the back in the days when they did not have time, so to say I'm praying for three hours, not less than three hours, or to say I'm praying for not less than one hour. Now, the candle, the way it is formatted, an average normal candle length, when if you try it, you will find out. It will burn for not less than three to five hours. It represents time. So when you say I prayed and I burned one full candle, those who have the spiritual inclination, those who have the spiritual insight, they know that what you have just said in a nutshell is that you have prayed for not less than three hours. When somebody say, I prayed with one incense, burning from one incense stick from beginning to the end. For I'm not talking about those who are using it for satanic and demonic purposes. I don't have business with them. But truth be told, scripturally, what that implies is that you have prayed for not less than one hour. You can do the experiment and find out. It means you have prayed for not less than one hour. One um, incense stick. That's one hour. So let's come back to this scripture that we're looking at verse 28. What did he say from the beginning? He said, for thou wilt light my candle. Now, what does it mean to light my candle? If somebody told the apostle, I had a dream. And in that dream, I had a candle in my hand. And then I was given a, a matchbox. And the matchbox has just a few, a few sticks in there. And I was wondering in that vision, if I only I could light up my candle. And the person said, I tried and the candle got lit up. So what does it mean when God lights up your candle? When God lights up your candle, you will like, let's start from the literal understanding of lighting of candle. When candle is lit up, candle has started fulfilling its purpose because straight away, darkness will go away. The purpose for that candle to be, is to be lit on. And once the light is on it, darkness within that vicinity, the capacity of the, you know, the red eye of that, um, of that, of that particular candle burning, the beam of rays, the beam of ray straight away suggests to you and me that that candle has had a fulfilling purpose. So number one, you need to know, when you say, Lord, light up my candle, it simply means the purpose for which you have permitted me to see this year helped me to start fulfilling them. Look, to those who are truly studious of time, they know already one month is about to be over. One month is going to be over in just a few days. Two, three days, it will be over. That's one month gone. So if you have not started using that candle that God has lit up, he has already lit up your candle. That's why you said Happy New Year. That's why you are in this month. And let me tell you, the year has burned one full month. It has burned maybe 30 minutes or one hour out of, in quote, the candle of this year. See this year as candle. And see this month as the smoke or the light or the flames or the luminous that's coming out from the candle. And it has burned for that much. It's burned for one month. Somebody light up my candle says, Lord, 
ignite my purpose for this year. Lord, ignite your will for my life this year. Lord, ignite your purpose for my family. Ignite your purpose for my children. Now, there are still two more days to accomplish what is on ground. Now, there's somebody who will be praying and the son of that person went to do a very tough and serious exams and will be praying back to back for the success of this child and everything. Very competitive exams and after much ado, yesterday the Lord said clearly, you know, just praise me. We've been praying, praying, praying until the child took the certain exam and he said, praise me. And we started to praise him. And as we started to praise him, it was obvious that God has done it. Okay, by today, the mother of the child called to share powerful testimony of how God has lit up the candle of that child. I just want you to understand when we say, Lord, light up the candle of my son, light up the candle of my daughter. That same child that you're worried about will now become, in fact, people will be using your child as a reference point for their prayer point. That job that has eaten up your heart, if God lights up the candle of that job, you will not only do that job, you start to be an employer of labor. So in a nutshell, somebody join me and type the word, light up my candle. If you're in marriage and you're telling the Lord, light up my candle, what you're simply saying is that, Lord, every purpose of my marriage, every purpose for which you have ordained this marriage, give it a kickstart. Give it a kickstart. Give it a kickstart. Give it, you know, that's that drive. Give it that purpose. Give it that ability to come alive. Somebody join me in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, give us that word. Give us that head start. Give us that head start. Give us that head start. In the name of Jesus Christ. Light my candle. Are you under the sound of my voice? You are fasting and you are trusting the Lord to start a company. May the Lord light the candle of that company. May the Lord... Mm, Permit that company and let the purpose come in the name of Jesus Christ. What is that that you're asking God? Lift up your voice. We are here to pray and not to play. Here to pray and not to play. Are you interested in healing from God? May the Lord light up the, your candle. May the Lord light up your candle in Jesus' name. Everyone that is here to pray and not to play. The Lord light up your candle. Malaga dayagaba. Mishai wikadalemosi. Ibrake telemoso. Urababa delicantalio. Urababa delicantalio. Light up my candle jehovah light up my candle light up my candle light up my candle are you a student under the sound of my voice god lighting up your candle simply means that the lord brings one understanding to what you're studying to bring you before kings and not mere men three establish you greatly in that which your heart is set to do in the name of jesus christ oh lord light our candles oh lord light our candles somebody join me to plead join me to plead join me to plead oh lord light my candle light our candle and we are saying light our candle in in such a way that lord you will enlighten our darkness you will enlighten our darkness you will enlighten our darkness what is that thing that is needed for you to break evil what is that thing that is needed for you to make success what is that thing that is needed for you to move to the next level may the lord enlighten may the lord enlighten may the lord enlighten any and every darkness in the name of jesus just look at the prayer mandate coming to the house somebody put in prayer put in prayer prayer put in prayer 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 in the name of jesus christ Put in prayer, put in prayer, prayer, put in prayer, prayer, prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. A Dalimo Sukayaba, O Rabba Baba, a Trele Keteli, O Rabba Kosa, Jege Delimo Usa Keteli, enlighten my darkness. What normally is the error in that lineage that makes the lineage to experience untold and unnecessary setback? O Lord, enlighten, O Lord, enlighten, O Lord, enlighten our darkness. From today, man of God, woman of God, God will enlighten your darkness in Jesus name I love the way our sister puts it when he said, light my candle of fruitfulness in my marriage in Jesus' name. And that fruitfulness is very big. So I know by default, somebody will just say, oh, maybe she's looking for the fruit of the womb. No, no, that is not the only thing this sister is asking for. When he says, Lord, light up my candle of fruitfulness in my marriage. Now, the marriage is like a house. There are different departments. You have the living room. You have the rooms. You have the conveniences. You have the, be the you have the conveniences. You have other parts, storage, and everything. So when someone in this capacity is telling the Lord to lighten the candle of 
fruitfulness. So fruitfulness, you can talk about fruitfulness financially, fruitfulness, you know, childbearing, fruitfulness, you know, in in other areas, emotionally, spiritually, physically. Somebody in Jesus' name, let us start to say, Lord, light my candle. Light my candle. And be specific. But like this person said, fruitfulness in my marriage. Another can say, fruitfulness in my studies. Another can say, fruitfulness in the ministry. You see, when you say fruitfulness in the ministry, it's, it's so big and so huge. So you're talking about when you are ministering to God's people for it to be spot on. You're talking about when you pray in agreement with God's people for them to have answer to their prayer you're talking about when you are counseling let it be that people will meet with God in counseling when you any any department of that ministry when you said that God should light up the candle of that ministry that you know that that fulfillment will come into that ministry ancient of this alpha omega ask for God to light the candle of fruitfulness, 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 result, only fools argue with result. When God gives you result, only fools argue with result in the name of Jesus. Listen, man of God, man of God, when the widow in 2 Kings chapter 4 was told that her two sons will be taken because of the debt prophet left behind, she ran to Elisha and said, Elisha, God needs to light the candle of my life because my husband who served God also, you know, left so much debt behind and now they want to take my sons. They want to take my two candles. Oh, may God light one candle that will take care of all the debts and the Lord had mercy on her. Somebody, if you run to God and say, light my candle, you be amazed the kind of help that is available you'll be amazed the kind of divine assistance that is available when you come to the lord genuinely when you come to the lord wholeheartedly when you come unto the lord saying that i have no other to turn to except you when you come to the lord and say oh lord either you deliver or you don't deliver at all and you tell god i know that you're able to deliver whether by many or by few i am coming to you because i know you're able to deliver whether by many or by few few whether by many or by few you're able to deliver ancient of days you're able to deliver alpha omega you're able to de deliver first and the last you're able to deliver whether by many or by few Ancient of the Mali Bakatosu, O Rabba Baba Libra Gatosikaba, Ancient of this Alpha Omega, Ladre de Matali Mosikaba, O Raga Baba Baba, O Raga Baba Baba, O Raga Baba Baba, Libari Ketelimusi, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jakite Mosakri. Jakite Mosakri. O la bakatoso. O rabba baba baba. La brokoto sukaba. Jeke delegate batoso. O rabba baba. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost power. La tema kosia. In delegate telibantali. Light of my word. Light of my candle. Let me surprise somebody very quickly. This Psalm 18. We're still on Psalm 18 very quickly. Psalm 18 verse verse what verse 29 psalm 18 verse 29 he said for by thee i have run through a troop and by my god have i lived over the world i've run through a troop i've lived over the world somebody let me tell you your safety my safety this year is not a factor of anybody except god it is by God you are going to run through a troop. I don't know which troop awaits you this year. I don't know which troop awaits me this year. I don't know which trouble. I don't know which which hurdles awaits you and me this year. But like Moses turned around in Exodus 14 verse 13, Exodus 14 verse 13, and looked at the Egyptians coming with so much force he told the israelites fear ye not that's what he said he said fear ye not he told them fear ye not he said because the egyptians that which thou see today you will not see again 
You are going to run through this truth not by might, not by power. I dare to say somebody, to somebody under God. I dare to say to somebody, Psalm 18, verse 29. Psalm 18, verse 29. Psalm 18, verse 29. Every race you're going to run this year is going to be by the anointing. It's going to be by the grace of God. You're going to run over every troop every troop that intends you to fail every troop that wants you to be a forgotten person every troop that wants your family to be forgotten every troop that wants to use for a negative example in the name of jesus christ you will see their end they will not see your end you will run through such troops you will run through such troops you will run through such troops in the name of jesus christ somebody join me and say oh lord masha katayaba a break it tell him i tell you for by d so it it is God that is your secret. It is God that is my secret. For by thee have I run. For by thee have I leaped. For by thee have I run. And by thee have I leaped. For by thee have I run. For by thee I have leaped. For by thee I have run. And for by thee I have lived. So what, what does this mean? For by thee I have run through a troop, and by my God I have lived over the world. Somebody, you are running through the troop, and you're leaping over the world this year. You're running through, and you're leaping over. You're running through, you're leaping over. Any circumstance, every situation that will come your way, you will, in Jesus' name, you will run through. You will run through, and you will leap over. You will run through, you will leap over. Receive strength in your hand bones. Receive strength in your back bone. Receive strength in every part of your life and being. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody put in prayer. Somebody put in prayer, prayer. Something is happening here today. Somebody put in prayer, prayer, prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody put in prayer. Somebody put in prayer, prayer, prayer. Somebody put in prayer, prayer, prayer. Faithfully see that call you. Hallelujah. Faithfully Faithfully see that call you, hallelujah. Faithfully see that call you, hallelujah. Raka daraba shantalimo. Raka daraba shakatalimo. O brake telimo sukaba. Enga dalagaba. O zaga dalaba. E brake telimo. O paramo sikatali. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Psalms chapter 6. In, sorry, Isaiah chapter 16. Isaiah chapter 16 verse 1. He told myself and you to arise and shine that the light is come. Somebody, your light for this year is not on the way it has come. Arise, shine. Arise, manifest. Arise, show that God is with you. Arise, shine. Arise, show. Arise, shine. Arise, show that God is with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Arise, shine. Arise, shine. Show that God is here. Arise, shine. Arise, shine. Show that God is here. Mashanta. Eba keteli. Ibraleo notaliosi. Ogaba deli maketeli. Arise, shine, arise, shine, arise, shine. Man of God, arise, arise, shine, arise, shine, arise, shine. Woman of God, arise, arise, shine, arise, shine. The Egyptian that you see today, you will never see them again in your life. Thus saith the Lord. The Egyptian that you see, you will not see them again. Who is that person that is troubled on all sides? Trouble on all sides. Somebody type the word trouble on all sides in the name of Jesus Christ. Troubled on all sides. Troubled on all side. Who is that person that is troubled on all side? Hallelujah. Who is that person? Maragadali Baketelimo Mokashan Talimo Sikabateli. Oh Rababa, double for your trouble. Troubled on all side. Who is that person? Who is troubled on all side? Somebody type the word troubled on all side. This year, my God reward all your endeavors the lord reward all your struggle all your trouble the lord reward all your struggle all your trouble all your trouble all your struggle all your struggle all your trouble the lord reward in the name of jesus christ i say yahweh reward trouble on all side i command every wall that is troubling I command every wall that is standing up against the plans and the purpose of God. Somebody join me. Let that wall uproot it. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10. We uproot such walls right now. We uproot it in Jesus' name. We uproot any wall. We uproot any wall. Listen. 
everyone that has stigmatized you that you can never have this you can never attend that you can never be like this oh yeah in jesus name, we start to pull down such negativity we start to pull down such negative confess com confession i mean we start to pull down every negative confession in the name of jesus trouble on all sides everyone trouble on us moses said that god was going to come and fight for them and they will hold their peace i'm saying to somebody if you're one of those troubled on all sides that god will fight for you and you will hold your peace god will fight for you and you hold your peace if you are troubled on all side on all side if you are troubled on all side i'm not talking to everybody i'm talking to those who are troubled on all side in the name of jesus christ everyone troubled on all sides the lord make you a voice the lord make you a voice for your family the lord make you a voice the lord make you a voice for your community the lord make you a voice in the name of jesus christ why will god permit me to be troubled on all sides why is it that god couldn't stop the trouble yes god could stop the trouble but the lord refused to stop the trouble why isaiah 61 verse 7 why did god refuse to stop the trouble does it mean god cannot stop the trouble why did god stop why will god you know why will god allow trouble to come my way does it mean god cannot stop the trouble 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 god can stop the trouble why did god allow trouble to come your way why why did God allow pandemic to come at such a time in our community and nation? Why? Is it to punish us? Is it to punish our children? Is it to punish our generation? No. God is not a wicked God. God is not a wicked God. So why did God allow trouble? Why did God just block that trouble? Why did God allow the Egyptians to come in that volume against the Israelites? Why did God allow the trouble? Somebody under the sound of my voice. God has a plan. Why did God allow the trouble to come in the first instance? Thank you for typing that question. God bless you. I need some more people to type that question. I need some more people to type that question. Why should I, somebody marry and for a long time, no fruit of the world? Why somebody will graduate and there is no job to do? Why is somebody, you know, in the position to be blessed and yet is acting like somebody who, ha who is not qualified for the blessing? Why will God permit that? Why? Why will God permit that? I am looking at the only one powerful example. There are more examples. There are more examples. Isaiah 61 verse 7. Isaiah 61 verse 7. In the name of Jesus Christ. Isaiah 61 verse 7. In the eyes of this pandemic, God is more than capable to set us free. Exactly. But why did God permit it? Orlando, we're saying, why did God permit it? Why did God permit it? Couldn't God have just made it not happen at all? Why did God permit the Egyptians to come out in the first place? Couldn't God have just made sure that none of them stood up from their bed? Or stood up from their chair? Couldn't God have just done it from the origin? Why did God give them that, um, that, that false belief that they are going to conquer and they started coming? running towards god's people why why do god allow the devil to have that false belief i mean why will god take away the edge from job only to allow the devil say do whatever you want to do but don't touch his life why will god do this why isaiah 61 verse 7 why isaiah 61 verse 7 this is why god has permitted and this year for somebody this year is your year of luke chapter 10 verse 2 this year is the year of Luke chapter 10 verse 2. Because God permitted the trouble. Because God permitted the trouble, then Isaiah 61 verse 7 will lead to Luke chapter 10 verse 2 of this year in your life. So God is permitting trouble to come your way and come my way because of Isaiah 61 verse 7. That will trigger up. That, that scripture will trigger up Luke chapter 10 verse 2. Let us make some, let us draw some dots on this scripture. Let us draw some dots on this scripture. Why will God allow the trouble to attack me? Why? Why will God keep his mind strong and allow that thing to hit me or hit you? Why? Why? Does it mean God could not have prevented it from the 
onset from the onset he could pre prevent it but has god ever prevented no why let us look at the scripture isaiah 61 verse 7 isaiah 61 verse 7 praise god he said for your shame you shall have double for your shame so sometimes god can allow shame to come somebody please start for my shame double double for my shame double for my shame double so god wants to bless you double god wants to bless me double god allowed the egyptians to come up because i want to give israel a testimony this year my god will give you a testimony this year your shame will convert to double honor in jesus name shame into double blessing double for your trouble I am not forming it to, it's right there in the word of God. Isaiah 61, Isaiah 61 verse 7. That is why God permitted me to see this pain. That's why God permitted you to see pain. That's why God permitted you for your foundation to be shaken. He wants to give you double. Go and check if what I'm saying is not true even in the life of Job. From verse, from chapter 42. Job chapter 42, go and see. Bible says that God gave unto Job double, double exactly how it is here in Isaiah 61 verse 7. Double for his shame. For his shame he got double. For his shame he got double for the trouble. Somebody prophesy. Double, double, double for every trouble. Double in Jesus' name. That is the intention of God. That is the intention of God. That you will sing, you will dance, you will jump, you will shout hallelujah, and you will testify. He has done it. He's a faithful God. That's why God allowed the trouble to come. That's why God allowed the trouble. Not that he couldn't have stopped that trouble from the source. The Lord ignored the trouble. The Lord ignored the trouble because God wants to bless you double, double, double. Somebody prophesy, double for my shame, double, double for our children. Why will God allow our children go through certain things? I mean, some of us, let's be factual. While people were going to school in our days, people could hardly understand. Now people are not even given opportunity to be in the classroom to see a teacher teaching. They are forced to sit down online. So how will learning be? But you see, this is really trouble and this is really shameful. But I'm telling you, if you believe in this scripture, God will enlighten our darkness. God will enlighten the darkness of our children. God will make what should be serious darkness that should make some children in fact, very difficult to cope with learning. God will make that darkness enlightened by turning on light under our candle. God will give those children the kind of understanding that somebody cannot fathom. Little explanation, they will just catch. Bah! There's a way God makes up for us. There's a way God makes up for us. Double for our trouble. Double for any and every trouble. For any trouble, for every shame. Double. Are you married? And people are telling you. Do you remember how many years you have married? Ah! God punished the devil. They did not speak to you. They spoke to God. There is this woman. There is this woman of God. You know, when she got married to her husband, the Lord gave her one beautiful daughter. And in that kind of setting, for those who understand a little bit of African setting, the families were on her case. They were not too happy with the fact that she only had produced a, a baby girl. So they were on a case, attacking her, speaking, antagonizing in different forms. And after several years, trusting God, 15, 16, still having this one child. In fact, I think the second child came around when the first child was around, you know, had, had grown really much, mm, like around 20 something. That's when they had the second, when she had the second child. The firstborn was already 20 something. I want you to know how many years the Lord kept quiet and was allowing the people to insult her. For how many years the Lord kept quiet and was watching. It was so shameful because they were talking to her anyhow. She only made only one statement after several years of insults. One statement. He said, at least I thank God that I am giving one child. You are laughing at me, but at least I thank God that I have one. You see this one, if this is all God says I will have, I see more than 10 children in this one. And I thank God I have one. 
then told the people who were insulting and laughing. They said, you're not laughing at me. You are rather, you think you're laughing at me, but you are trying to insult God because that is the choice of God for me. And me, I will not question God. 20 something years after, 23, 24, 22, 23, 24, she gave birth to a male child, which is, of course, what they've been agitating for. So as I speak to you now, by the grace of Almighty God, that same woman they were laughing at, she's got double. She's got double. Double for her shame. Do you know, we men of God, we talk history. And we talk living history. We don't talk history that is not true. We talk, is what I'm telling you is the truth. Now, after how many years, she's got two. The first daughter and now a son which is of course in africa setting then the, the the family is happy but i want to bring to your notice two of those people especially one as i speak to you today that was laughing and say you have only one and you feel you have uh, you have uh, you have married we can come and get you out of the marriage this is not a marriage until you can give us the second child at least give us a son that will carry the family name blah 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 Today, as I talk to you, after several years of marriage, that person, after several years of marriage, I'm sorry, the person doesn't even have one. The person that was laughing at another person, you have only one, and you think you are, you are uh, 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 that person doesn't have one. But this person that have been going through shame, the Lord added another one and added a male child. So there is no other thought child after female and male what else after male and female what else god knows what you are going through somebody are you being laughed at is somebody mocking you this year is your year receive the word the divine word today except god is not the one giving you this word then don't believe it except it's not jesus telling you come then don't believe it. If it is Jesus telling you, come, like he told Peter, that come this year, you're going to sail over troubles. You're going to sail over financial problems. You're going to sail over confusion. You're going to sail over shame. You're going to sail over pain. You're going to sail over anything in Jesus' name. Put your confidence in Jesus, not man. In Jesus. And I see you, this year will mark a new beginning in your life. Double for every trouble. Take this word and present to God. Isaiah 61 verse 7. It's not man who documented it. It is the word of God. It's promised to you and to me. Oh Lord, take away shame. Take away reproach. Can we pray in the name of Jesus Christ? Take away shame. Take away reproach. Whether you have financial shame, every time you borrow, and just when you borrow, you now, you now, when the money come again, you come and pay what you owed before and borrow again. Ah, ah, now wait it. And you are just living that kind of circle. Then you come back again. You come and borrow again. You, as you pay, say, this is the one I'm paying for last month. Then you just go. One day again, you come back and say, have you come back to borrow again? That will not be your portion. In Jesus' name, you start to learn to nation. Malagadalagaba. Masantari. They say, ah, how, are you checking your age? Where will you get married? They tell you, come on, there is a man who come and walk past. Come and walk past so that the man will see. Maybe the man will decide to just manage to marry you. God forbid. God forbid, you can never be reduced to such. No, you cannot be reduced to such. In Jesus' name, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. There is a time for everyone. Somebody say, Lord, light my candle. You are like that because God has not lit up your candle. Yes, Psalm 18. Tell the Lord, light my candle. Light it. And see when God lights your candle. Mark also. Ibrale, Psalm 18. Verse 28 and 29. Tell God to light, to light up your candle. You don't need to walk past. Wherever you are, your husband, if you're a woman, will come and find you. Wherever you are, the Lord will open your eye to find your wife. For whosoever findeth a wife, findeth a good thing and obtains favor from God. Double for every shame in Jesus' name. Enough of that weeping. Enough of that pain and shame. Enough of that embarrassment. Enough is enough. By your by Bible says, for your shame, ye shall have what? Double. For your shame, ye shall have double. And for confusion, they shall what? They shall rejoice 
in their portion. For every confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. For every confusion, therefore in the land, they shall what? They shall possess the double. Therefore in the land, which land has my God planted you? Therefore in the land, are you in the land of of uh, uh, the land that they call people students? Are you in the land they call people workers? Are you in the land they call people entrepreneurs? Are you in the land they call people pioneers? Are you in the land they call people men of God? Are you in the land they call people lovers? Which land have you found yourself? You will obtain in Jesus' name. You will obtain double for your for your shame in that land therefore in their land they shall possess the double somebody please join me and say lord help me to possess the double help me to possess the double in jesus name if you're looking for the fruit of the womb and you're under the sound of my voice help me to possess the double not to stop you from having twins not to stop you from having triplets not to stop you from having you know the fruit of the womb at least two Nothing stop you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Somebody join me. I will possess the double in the land. I will possess the double in the land. Oh Lord, help me to possess the double in the land. To possess the double in the Isaiah 61 verse 7. Isaiah 61 verse 7. To possess the double in the land. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help me to possess the double in the name of Jesus Christ. Everlasting joy shall be everlasting joy shall be unto them everlasting joy shall be everlasting joy shall be unto them somebody under the sound of my voice i see everlasting joy i see god channeling joy upon joy upon joy to you i see god channeling huge joy in the name of jesus as the lord enlightens your darkness and the lord commands you to possess the double in the land and for your shame in jesus name i see god giving you double 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 in jesus, confusion comes to an end confusion comes to an end trouble comes to an end end embarrassment come to an end fear comes to an end in the name of jesus in the name of jesus Christ. somebody join me and say oh lord destroy the power of disconnection somebody this year you will not be disconnected from your source for any reason for whatever it is worth for any reason for whatever it takes you will not be disconnected from your source man of god you will not be disconnected from your source woman of god you will not be disconnected in jesus name i say you will not be disconnected from your source you will not be disconnected from your source the i say you will not be what you will not be cut off you will not be cut off from your source in the name of jesus christ you will not be cut off from your source i say you will not be cut off from your source in the name in the name of jesus christ yes you will not be cut off in jesus name no disconnection for your children no disconnection for you everyone that is hearing from god you will continue to hear from god everyone that has a communication link with god not Nothing tampers with your communication link with God. Everyone that has a way of warming their heart, warming their way into the heart of God, nothing will make that path that you have known, that path that has been revealed unto you, nothing will hinder that path of you warming your heart, warming your way into the heart of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. David knew how to warm his way into the heart of God. David knew. David knew and it worked for him. Somebody under the sound of my voice. Everything that you know about warming your way into the heart of God starts to work for you. You. It starts to work for you. It starts to work for you. Work for your children. In the name of Jesus, I soak every prayer Monday with the power of the precious blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I soak every prayer Monday with the power of the precious blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. This connection will not be your portion. This connection will not be your portion. If somebody disconnects, then there is there is can never be double for any shame. They can never be. If somebody disconnects from God for every confusion, look, the confusion has come to stay. There will not be any correction made to confusion in the life of God's people in the name of Jesus Christ. No rejoicing for any confusion. No rejoicing. And of course, if you would agree with me, the last bit of it, they cannot possess in the land. They cannot possess the double in the land. They cannot possess the double in the land. If they are disconnected from God, hallelujah. <coughs> 
excuse me, if people are disconnected from God, they cannot. It's just not possible in the name of Jesus Christ. That's why we are praying against what disconnection. You will not be disconnected from God. You will not be disconnected from God. You will not be disconnected from God in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not be disconnected. I will not be disconnected in Jesus' name. Malagadalagaba. You will not be disconnected and because you are not disconnected, we are talking about peace and joy. Everlasting peace and joy will be your portion. Because you are not disconnected from him. Because God will not allow you to be disconnected. God will not allow me to be disconnected. Everlasting joy is going to be your portion. Everlasting joy is going to be my portion. Everlasting joy is going to be our portion. Because we will not be disconnected from this God. You will not be disconnected from this God. I say you not be disconnected from him in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind any and every spirit of what disconnection. Every power that wants us to be disconnected. Every power that wants us to be disconnected in Jesus' name. Every power that wants us to be cut off. When people are cut off, that's why after shame, they can't have double. But if you are connected, God has a record. God had a record of Mordecai. God had a record of Mordecai. That's why the shame of Mordecai did not go unrewarded. The shame of Mordecai came back to Mordecai double, double, double. Because Bible said that the book of remembrance was open. The book of remembrance was open and Mordecai was remembered double, double, double. That's because he did not disconnect. Everyone that disconnects from God, they can't have double. After Jesus was raised from the grave, after Jesus was raised from the grave, Romans chapter 8 verse 11 told us the spirit that came to raise Jesus from the dead. Bible said that Acts chapter 4 verse 12, there is no other name given under heaven that can be above that name. That name was given and at the name of Jesus, every knee will, must bow. Ah, I refuse to be disconnected. I love that word. I refuse to be disconnected. In Somebody, you cannot be disconnected. God will not allow you this year to be disconnected. Not for one second. In the name of Jesus. You can imagine if this broadcast is disconnected. You can't hear me. I can't hear you. Somebody, this year is not such a year. For everything that you're going through, God has a document. God has a, a, a record for it. And that's why I said that in the land you possess the double. Okay, God has a record for it. Joseph, in the same land, he was disgraced. In the same, not another. In the same land, he was disgraced. The Lord honored him. The Lord honored him and for his shame, he had double, 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 double. He had double, double in the same land. In the same land, in the same land. Somebody, are you under the sound of my voice? It is in the same land God will reward you. It's in the same place you had shame. God will lift you up. We were asking, why would God allow me to go through trouble? God is allowing you to go through trouble. He wants an occasion that will be clear to the powers of darkness. Why you you are qualified for double, double, double. God wants to use you to boast. God wants to use you to boast and say, have you seen my son? Have you seen my daughter? I know a Christian said, I don't want God to boast about me because I don't need special attack from the pit of hell from Ephesians 6 verse 12. But you can't help it because every parent is proud of their child. God is proud of you and there's nothing you can do about it. God is proud of you and God said, okay, you want to try him? Try him. Try him. I know he's not going to fail me. But just know that after your temptation, he's going to get double for his shame. He's going to get double for his shame, for his confusion, for that confusion. They are going to be, they are going to receive rejoicing. They are going to receive joy overflow. They are going to receive everlasting joy. You understand? It's in the land because of the trouble you are going to give Jumbo, because of the trouble you are going to give my people. I just want you to know that I will bless them. They will get double in the land. Somebody, you have gone through thick and thin. Jesus was blessed. Moses was blessed. Joseph was blessed. Tell me one person that went through shame for God that was not blessed. Tell me one. There's none. Every one of them was remembered. You will surely be remembered. Man of God, woman of God. Put in prayer. Put in prayer, prayer. Put in prayer, prayer, prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ. I see God enlarging your coast. I see God enlarging your coast. I see God enlarging your coast. Disconnection will not be your portion. Disconnection will not be your portion. In the name of Jesus Christ. Disconnection will not be your portion. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. Alpha Omega, ancient of days, beginning and the end. Oh Lord, have mercy upon us. Oh Lord, that he hear us today. Oh Lord, open the windows of heaven and let your will alone be honored and glorified. In the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Now, today I'm going to do something I have never done before in the broadcast. I'm going to share something with you at the end of the broadcast and you will choose one out of the two. If the Holy Spirit still permits me, I'm going to do it. I will not give you a hint yet because I will not forget what I want to do. Somebody under the sound of my voice, please type the word disconnect or cut off. Let's start from there. Very simple. Today, disconnect, cut off. I want you to prophesy that word in Jesus' name. I want you to prophesy that word, disconnect, cut off. You will not be disconnected. You will not be cut off from God. I will not be disconnected. I will not be cut off from God. Somebody prophesy. Disconnect, cut off. Disconnect, cut off. Maragadalaba. boss. I will not be disconnected. You will not be disconnected. You will not be cut off. I will not be cut off. Thank you for typing, darling. MD, God bless you. Darling, MD, God bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Hallelujah. You koinonia. I koinonia never to be disconnected in Jesus' name. Orlando, thank you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Disconnect. Disconnection will not be my portion this year in Jesus' name. Anita KC. Hallelujah. Beautiful. I will not be disconnected or cut off from God. God, hallelujah. Somebody type the word, prophesy the word, disconnect, prophesy the word, cut off. Hallelujah. Disconnect or cut off. Orlando, thank you for typing. Disconnect, cut off. Prophesy, man of God, prophesy. We start from simple to the, we start from known to the unknown. Hallelujah. Avoid, avoid disconnection or cut off. Avoid. So somebody type the word, disconnect, or cut off. Thank you, Anita Casey, for typing. Praise God. Now, please, somebody, the word we want to explain is avoid disconnection or cut off. How would you explain that word? How would you explain the word avoid disconnection or cut off? Avoid. Avoid. Avoid disconnection or cut off. Avoid disconnection or cut off. Avoid disconnection or cut off. How would you explain the word avoid disconnection or cut off? Thank you, darling MD, for typing the word avoid disconnection slash cut off. So how would you explain the word avoid disconnection or cut off? I have limited time for this session. Sorry if I'm putting you on a very big or a, a very, very serious pressure. Okay, praise God. How would you explain the word dis avoid disconnection or cut off? Avoid avoid how would you explain the word avoid disconnection or cut off we have limited time for this session hallelujah avoid disconnection or cut off how would you explain it man of god how would you explain the woman of god avoid disconnection or cut off avoid disconnection or cut off avoid disconnection or cut off praise god praise god avoid disconnection or cut off i see the word prevent beautiful word prevent 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 or come against so it's like saying avoid so she's saying prevent disconnection or come against disconnection praise god that's darling md thank you for those words stay away from stay away from anything that will destroy your relationship with god god bless you man of god thank you orlando that's from orlando praise god avoid <laughs> Avoid, Orlando says, stay away. I don't know which other English can be so simple. Stay away from. <laughs> stay away from anything that will destroy your relationship with God. Thank you for that. How would you explain the word avoid disconnection or cut off? Avoid disconnection or cut off. Avoid disconnection or cut off. Avoid see finish. Avoid see finish. Avoid disconnection or cut off. Hallelujah. How would you explain, man of God, woman of God? How would you explain? Avoid disconnection. Avoid disconnection or cut off. In the name of Jesus Christ. Avoid, avoid. Avoid disconnection or cut off. Avoid disconnection or cut off. Mara dalagaba, zage dele bantali, manto sukaba, e bratoso, e daliketeli, kare machan talimo, kare basan talimo sikaba, e bale matalio. Please, somebody prophesy double for your trouble. That's where we are now. Double for your trouble. Double for your trouble. Somebody in Jesus' name, type the word double for your trouble. The Lord remember you. 
the Lord honor you. The Lord remember you. The Lord honor you. Double for your trouble in Jesus' name by fire by force. Somebody join me. Echo in the spirit. Double for your trouble. Double for your trouble. The Lord punish the devil. Punish, punish, punish. Double for your trouble. Somebody echo. Somebody type. Double for your trouble in Jesus' name. Double, double, double for your trouble. Shanda ragada lagaba, maragada lagaba. Double for your trouble. Mosag e katelima e batalio. Double for your trouble. Somebody join me. Double for your trouble. Double for your trouble in Jesus' name. Double for your trouble. La shantanimo. Double for your trouble. Somebody prophesy. And every hand that is prophesying, God will make you a living example. God will make you a living example of those prophecies. God will make you. God will make you. God will make you a living example. God will make you a living example for, for that prophecy. God will make you a living example for that prophecy. In the name of Jesus Christ, double for your trouble. Trouble, my God will grant unto you double for your trouble. By fire, by force, by force, by fire. By fire, by force, by force, by fire. Double for your trouble in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Double for your trouble in Jesus' name. Somebody make sure you are typing in Jesus' name. Make sure you are typing in Jesus' name. Double for your trouble. Double for your trouble in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, fire, power. Holy Ghost, power, fire. Holy Ghost, take control, take over. Holy Ghost, take control, take over. Holy Ghost, take over, take control. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yale Bradosa. Karababa Nekateli. Avoid, avoid anything that will hinder your double, double, double. Avoid anything, everything, everything, anything that would what? Avoid anything, everything that will hinder your double, double, double blessing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. So I ask somebody very quickly. Thank you for typing Uber in the make uko double for your trouble. Thank you for typing darling MD. Thank you for typing Amen. The Lord hear you, Orlando. Praise God. Now, please, how would you explain the word double for your trouble quickly as we round up this session straight away? As we round up this session straight away, how would you explain the word double for your trouble? Katali e Katali e Salibro Zakataya. My God will, my God will double for me. Would double for my for my shame in Jesus' name. Okay, I know that should be shame. Don't worry, I understand. God bless you, Anita Casey. God bless you. Okay, so we are saying, how would you explain the word double for my trouble? Very quickly, double for my trouble. Overflow is Orlando. Orlando is opening the floor with the word overflow, overflow, overflow. Thank you, Jesus. Overflow, overflow, overflow. Maragada lagaba. Overflow, overflow, overflow. Shantalimo o karimo sikaba. O shantalimo o karimo sikaba tali. Man. Bradeli e Cadalius, my Libradeli e Cadalius, O Rabababa, double for my trouble. Trouble, trouble is gone. Double for my trouble. For any shame, O Lord Jehovah, for every shame, Lord, bring double. Somebody, how would they explain the word double for my trouble? The first reaction from Darling MD is restoration. Second reaction is restitution. Third reaction is pay with interest. Pay with interest. So, restoration, restitution, pay with interest, double for your trouble. More than enough, says Orlando. When God decides to lift you up, lift me up, lift us up, more than enough, more than what we can ever imagine or think, more than the capacity we have in mind, more than what we can ever imagine or think, more than the capacity we have in mind. When God decides to lift you up, lift me up, uh, hallelujah. That is what we are talking about on this mountain, more than enough. Somebody get set for your more than enough this year. Get set for your more than enough for your son, for your daughter, for every member of your household get set for what more than enough more than enough get set for your more than enough get set for more than enough because the lord is ready the lord is in this in the house the lord is his name is ready for what your more than enough upliftment your more than enough expansion your more than enough blessings your more than enough everyone that is under the sound of my voice your more than enough has commenced by fire by force in the name 
of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise God. Please let us look at the word very shortly. Today we want to look at the word very shortly. And I believe that word is going to be a blessing to somebody. Alpha, Omega, beginning and the end. Open the windows of heaven and speak to us, O Lord. Because I know that people under the sound of my voice are destined for greatness, are destined for increase, are destined to be established in the land of the living. O Lord, come and do what you alone can do, Adonai. And take all the glory and praise in Jesus' name we have decreed. Amen. Praise God. Okay, praise God, praise God, praise God. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody, please. The Bible talk about the word epistle. So if you hear the word epistle, what does it mean? Epistle. What is the meaning of epistle? Okay, ye are our epistle written in our hearts, known and read of all men. Okay, you are living epistles. So when we say somebody is a living epistle, what do we mean? More than, more than you you can ever ask for praise god he's going to do for us yes so i'm quoting from second corinthians chapter 3 second corinthians chapter 3 verse 2 second corinthians chapter 3 second corinthians chapter 3 verse 2 when we see the word living epistle what does that mean what does that mean what does that mean what does that mean what does that mean? Epistle. If we explain the word epistle, how would you explain the word epistle very quickly? I, will, I give you that opportunity, man of God, woman of God, very quickly. Okay? So I'm reading verse 2. It says, ye are, ye are our epistles written in our hearts, known and read of all men. So when we call something epistle, what do we mean? When we call something epistle, just one or two reactions and we move on. Just one or two reactions. When we call something epistle, what do we mean? For as much as ye are manifest for as much as ye are manifestly declared to the epistle of Christ manifested by us written not with ink but with the spirit of the living God not in tablets of stone but in the but in the fleshy tablets of the heart not written on the tablets of stone but in the fleshy tablets of the heart not written with ink, not written with ink, but by the Spirit, okay? Not written with ink, but by the Spirit. Not written with ink, but by the Spirit. Uh, the Spirit of the living God, not just any kind of a spirit. Not in tablets of stone, but in fleshy hearts of, fleshy hearts of what? Fleshy hearts of, of, of human. The fleshy tables of the heart. The fleshy heart of me and you, the fleshy tables of the heart, that's what the word of God, where it is written. Praise God. Hallelujah. Second Corinthians, Second Corinthians 2 and 3. Not 3 and 4, but 2 and 3. 2 and 3. Not 3 and 4. 4 is not included. Thank you for helping us to type just 2 and 3. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, man of God. God bless you. Okay. So, what do we mean by epistle? What would you understand as epistle? Praise God. What we will understand as the epistle? Epistle. What do we understand by the epistle? Epistle. What do we understand by the epistle? Ye are our epistle written in our hearts, known and read of all men. Of all men, I mean to say, living epistles. So, living example of God. Beautiful word. Living example of God. Imitators of our fathers. Beautiful word. Thank you so much. Darling, um, darling DM. God bless you for that word. Beautiful. Okay, so when it says living epistles, it simply means living examples. Okay, living example, living word of God example of the word of God. So it, what it means when it calls myself and you a, a living epistles, which is like the, the living word of God written in our hearts, read of all men. So you are like the written word of God. You are like the Bible moving in real life. So you are like a, you are more than, you are not like, you are more than a three-dimensional, a four-dimensional um, object moving and demonstrating, you know, demonstrating the the idea of a writer. Okay, the idea of a writer bringing the writings of a writer to reality. Myself and you, we are more than a three-dimensional or four-dimensional object that is bringing to reality the the ideas of a writer. You are an example of those writings. So, Bible is referring to me and you as those kind of in quote 
objects, as it were, higher than a three-dimensional or four-dimensional. It means that people don't need to read the dictionary before they can understand the writings of God. Because now God is the writer. So every word that we are writing here, myself and you, we are example of those words. We are example of those words. We are example of those words. So when people see me and you, they tend to understand this word. If they don't see me and you, it's difficult to understand the word. Because you can read you must be very good in your imagination to pick up the the to pick up the I'm looking for the way the name for the, the book that is given to each person praise god script is the word i did you must be extremely good and that's why the actors are paid because they are believed to be professional they read the the scripts and they bring out the character of the writing of the writer they bring it out now i want you to see from this scripture second corinthians chapter 3 verse 2 and 3 that god is the writer myself and you as it were we are coming as the professional actors to bring those things god have written to life your testimony will bring it to life the way you move in real life will bring it to life and you know everything about the word of god will be easily understood that's why some people you just watch the film and you can narrate the story from beginning to the end but some of these professionals they sit down with the with the script they read it over and over and over again they come to interpret it they will even have a producer that say no that character is not well you know managed that character is not well represented go back again do it this way do it this way sometimes they could rehearse 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 lose their voice and everything now the producer is our holy spirit the holy spirit is the one that will tell you no 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 no. that's not what god intends to tell you romans chapter 8 verse 26 and 27 holy spirit tell no 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 go back and re-represent that character that's not what god has in mind do it this way do it this way the holy spirit will tell us no 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 wait on the lord fast you need to fast here in order to be able to the only people show some people vision and say look at what is about to come in the next three months so you need to act like this you need to move like this you need to speak like this somebody i pray that you will meet up the criteria of second corinthians chapter chapter three verse two and three that you will be indeed a living epistle a living example that is more than a three-dimensional, four-dimensional, you know, pictorial representation of the writings of God. Me and you will be more than a three-dimensional, four-dimensional pictorial representation of the writer, which is God Almighty, myself and you. God is expecting me and you to leave the world, to leave the world. So now, if me and you, we are disconnected from the world, from this word, remember the broadcast of, of yesterday, divine word. If you are disconnected from the script as an actor, you cannot fully represent what is in the mind of the writer. It's not possible. For you to professionally bring out what is in the mind of the writer, you must be connected to the word. Or that the writer has documented or connected to the writer himself for the writer to download to you or communicate to you or show it into you. If without that, you cannot fully represent what the writer has in mind. Are you with me, man of God, woman of God? Are you with me? So I am pleading with somebody, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 2 and 3, not 4, verse 2 and 3. The Lord is saying to somebody, he wants to use you this year as what? As a living example. A three-dimensional, a four-dimensional representation of the writings of God in your family, in your community, in your place of work. If we are walking on the street, God wants to use you to be a moving Bible. Spirit in motion. Somebody type the word spirit in motion. The spirit in motion is your producer, Holy Spirit. It's our comforter. And it's coming to ensure that myself and you manifest. So that we manifest to declare the epistle of Christ manifested. So you, when people read about Jesus Christ, when they see me and you, they will not struggle to comprehend. Hallelujah. I want you to know that what we are talking about is not written with inks. Is written with the Spirit. Look at it, capital letter S. The Holy Spirit. This is inspired by the Holy Spirit. It's written by the Spirit. Not just fairy tale. Not just somebody's idea. Not just a cook-up. Not just a cook-up. 
Hallelujah. God wants to use me and you to bring to lamb light the living word. The living word. The living God wants to make myself and you to bring out this living word. And that's why this word is not written on on ordinary, on ordinary tablets of stones. I thank God we have tablets these days in our generation. So we know what tablets are. God is not writing it on tablets of stone. God wants to write it on the fleshy tablets. The fleshy tablets of the heart. So that as you go out, when you quote the scripture, you know what to expect. When you quote the scripture, you know what to do. God wants to use myself and you even more than a three-dimensional, a four-dimensional pictorial representation of God's writings of his writings so that we now become a living a living example a living a living point of connection authenticating the word of God putting proof on the word of God making the word of God validating the word of God God wants to make me and you to validate the word this year the divine word that you have received the divine word you're receiving. This year, God wants to use you to validate those words. And that is why the devil wants me and you to disconnect. Now, when the devil successfully disconnects a Christian from the word, then how can he be a living example? How can he be a living epistle when he's disconnected from the writings? When he's disconnected from the writer? The writer cannot verbally plant those ideas into such a person, and the person is not even reading the script that the writer produced. So how can you act? How can you act? Myself and you will not be disconnected in Jesus' name. Somebody say, I will not be disconnected this year in Jesus' name. Somebody say, I will not be disconnected in Jesus' name. When somebody see me and you, they don't need a dictionary. I'm going to be a moving three-dimensional, four-dimensional representations of the writings of God. Whether the enemy likes it or not, God punish the devil. Punish, punish, punish. Punish, punish, punish. Let me give you an example that God has achieved. God has achieved this kind of example. If you were to read with me Genesis chapter 3. If you were to read Genesis chapter 3 and you start to read from verse from verse 1 to the end to be precise. But let's start from verse 6. And Bible said that, And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eye and the tree and a tree to be desired. That's, those are the three qualities. One, she saw that it was good for food. Two, she saw that it was pleasant to the eyes. Three, the tree, you know, was is to be desired to make her wise or to make one wise. She took of the tree or, or, of the, and then she ate it and then gave to her husband. She took of the tree, she ate it, she gave to her husband. She took of the tree, she ate it, she gave to her husband. And Bible said that she ate it thereof and gave all also unto her husband, you know, so that the husband also can eat. Praise God. And Bible said in verse 7, immediately they ate both of them, their eyes were open. Both of them, they, their eyes were open and they knew that they were naked. Straight away. They knew that they, they were naked. And they started to sow the leaves to cover their nakedness. Hallelujah. Now, if you look at verse 5, it said, For God doth know that in the day which that ye eat therefore, that your eyes will be open and that you'll be able to know, you know, like God. You'll be able to know like God. You'll be able to know good from evil. That was the that was the point of argument of the of the serpent that was you know possessed of the of the evil spirit of possess of the Satan. Praise God. Verse 4. The serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall surely not die. Okay, so ye shall not surely die. But God knows. He said, For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open, and ye shall be as a as a, as gods. That's what he said. Ye shall be as gods, knowing good from evil. Now, when the enemy wants to ensure that there's a disconnection. I mean, you go back and read all these things. What does it mean by, look at what it says in this, look at that kind of evil fallacy. Please look at that evil fallacy. Ye shall be as gods. Ye shall be as gods. Ye shall be as God. Please come with me. Come with me to Genesis chapter 1. Come with me to Genesis chapter 1. Come with me to Genesis chapter 1. Genesis chapter 1, verse what? Verse 26. Genesis verse 1 verse 26, it says, And God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness, 
and let them have dominion over all the of all the fish of the sea and over all the fowl of the air and over all the cattle and over all the earth and over creeping things that creepeth upon the earth so please what does the devil mean that you will be as gods because god already said let us create man in our image and our likeness so what was the lie what was the fallacy what was what was the what was the deceit the devil was doing all this just to disconnect. That's all. Because that's the original mind of God. God created man in his image. So what does the devil mean that God knows that in the day that you eat the apple, you shall be gods. And mind you, this God now is a lowercase g. So he's converting. I mean, man was not smart enough to know that they were moving from a capital, they were moving from the representation of a capital G-O-D to a lowercase g-o-d. In Jesus' name, you they will not be a backward, you will not go backward in life. You will not move from representing a capital letter G-O-D to a lowercase G-O-D. Look at what he reduced them to in deceit. From being a living epistle of a capital case G-O-D, he made them to fall short and became a living epistle of small letter case G-O-D-S. Go and check it. It's there. Genesis chapter what? Chapter 3. Check it and you'll see. Verse 5. A lowercase g-o-d-s. In Jesus' name, you will not receive backwardness. You will not be demoted. You will not be disconnected. Adam and Eve was not smart enough to see that this was a disconnection. A disconnection from a capital, from a capital letter g-o-d to a lowercase. A lowercase of g-o-d. The g-o-d-s. They did not even see it. In Jesus' name, you will not be disconnected. You will not be disconnected from being a three-dimensional, four-dimensional, five. Di in fact, being more than from being more than a three-dimensional, four-dimensional, five-dimensional moving object of the writings of God to a two-dimensional, to a two-dimensional, you know, object, to a two-dimensional object of a lowercase g o d. What an insult! G o d s. What an insult! somebody i want you to know that whenever you see that the devil is attacking you whenever okay why would the devil come to attack adam and eve anytime you see the devil attack somebody know that that person has is carrying something great it's always it's an acid test that has proved that has proven over the age all through the bible era anytime you see the powers of darkness attacking somebody watch that person very well that person is carrying an uppercase representation of god an uppercase uppercase you are not just any kind of a person you are uppercase upper class you are uppercase upper class of god you are moving you are representing you are a living epistle second corinthians chapter 3 verse 2 and 3 you are manifesting as god but they have seen that and they are angry they now want you to move from that greater level of honor to a lower case a lower case of gods what an insult what an insult. And everything, look at it. It said that you will know good and evil. Who said that they did not know good and evil? Who said that they did not know good and evil in that state? They were not only aware of good and evil, they could judge evil. They could judge evil. But the devil wanted them to move from the level of the upper case of judging evil to being somebody under the power of evil, manipulated by, by evil. Controlled by demons. You will not move from controlling and commanding demons to a point whereby demons start to control. It will not be your portion this year in the name of Jesus Christ. A living epistle, God says you are. You are the word of God made easy. Word of God made easy. Word of God made simple. You are more than a four-dimensional. You are more than a four, five-dimensional moving object of the word of God. Some of us, when you want the cartoon of a Bible cartoon, how do you feel? You are more than cartoon. You are more than cartoon. You are a living human being. The Lord now decided not to let people watch through a device of phone or anything. God made people to be watching in real life. In this real life, they are watching me and you to understand the Bible. Somebody join me as we start to pray. Oh Lord, 
make me indeed a living epistle, the living and moving example of the word of God. We have 10 to 15 to 20 minutes to pray. Somebody join me. I'm not praying for other years. Other years is God. I'm praying for this year. I, I, whatever you have done last year, what you're doing this year should be sweeter, greater, and should be much more result oriented than last year because bible said that every time it is new every morning great is the faithfulness of god i am trusting god that this year will be a greater dimension of the glory of god that will manifest in you you will not be like if you will not fall you will not fall from the representation of an upper case g-o-d to a lower case g-o-d-s you will not represent gods you will represent God Almighty in the name of Jesus. You will not represent the writing of gods. You will not represent the ancestral agreements, ancestral curses. You will not represent that. You will, res you will, you will represent the ancestral blessings of G-O-D, capital G-O-D. You will represent the, the ancestral blessings of God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God of Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego. You will represent the upper case, upper case of the writings and the blessings of God, God Almighty, of our ancestors. So that you can scream like Elijah screamed and say, where is the God of my father Elijah? He was an, a moving, a moving more than three-dimensional, four-dimensional, five-dimensional representation of the word of God downloaded from what Elijah in a double portion. We talked about double portion, Isaiah 61 verse 7. Somebody, I do not, everything you have ever done last year, may God give you double portion in this year for any and every shape. For any and every shape. Elisha had double portion. God has always given double portion. Job had double portion. Joseph had more than double portion. Mordecai had more than double portion. Naomi had more than double portion. Ruth had more than double portion. What are we talking about? Esther had more than double portion. My God will surprise you this day. Our Lord Jesus Christ had more than double portion for the shame, for the embarrassment for the trouble, but they were never disconnected. Nothing would disconnect me and you. The devil carefully planned it. All he wanted was to disconnect Adam and Eve. He knew that they were full representation of the uppercase capital G-O-D. He knew. He knew that they were more than a three-dimensional, four-dimensional, five-dimensional pictorial representation of the writings of God. He knew. He only wanted them to fall from that to a lowercase G-O-D. In Jesus' name, every manipulation will not catch up with you. The same thing he did with Job. He wanted Job to fall from the representation of capital letter G-O-D that he was representing to a lowercase G-O-D-S by just cursing God, by just cursing God. But God did not allow that to come to pass. Second Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9, because the strength of God was made perfect in his weakness. Somebody under the sound of my voice, are you weak at this kind of time? Are you weak in this time? Are you weak in Jesus' name? But the strength of God come to lift you up because you will be indeed a full representation of whom God is and not what the gods are saying. It will be what God is saying, not what the gods are saying. In Jesus' name. In your heart, I command in Jesus' name that the writings of God become dominant. The writings of God become dominant. In Jesus' name. The writings of God become dominant on the tablets of your heart, on the tablets of my heart. The writings of God become dominant. Somebody prophesy. Somebody prophesy. Prophesy. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will not disconnect from this God. I will not disconnect this year from this God. God forbid if you find yourself you are not flowing like you used to flow before trace your way back to god come back to him come back in fasting and prayer and say lord i'm not feeling you like i was feeling you before and we were asking why did god allow me and you to go through trouble why did god stop trouble from the very beginning why did god stop the shame from the very beginning because god wants isaiah 61 verse 7 to catch up with you and me god wanted you to have double for your shame god wanted for your shame you should have double god wanted you to possess the double in the land god wanted you to possess the double in the land for your confusion God wanted you to rejoice. For your confusion, God wanted you to rejoice. And the Lord wanted to give you everlasting joy. And so I prophesy to every living epistle. I prophesy to every moving 
moving pictorial representation of the word of God. In Jesus' name, this year, my yenda likapos, orababa ebrakele matali, every blessing that God has kept for you, every blessing that God has kept for your generation, every power that wants to make you fall short of that blessing, Holy Ghost fire scatter, Holy Ghost fire destroy, Holy Ghost fire scatter destroy, in the name, in the name of Jesus Christ, you will not disconnect. God could have solved the problem from the source, but God did not solve it because God knows you are a full representation of whom he is. That's why God knows that with your mouth, with my mouth, I can bind and it will be bound in heaven. I can release and it will be released in heaven. God wanted a demonstration of his power. God wanted us to fully represent him here on earth. Bible say as he is in heaven, so are we here on earth. As he is in heaven, so are we here on earth. Maybe you have not thought of it. When you want to define yourself, when people ask you, who are you? You cannot but say, I am Jumbo. You cannot but say, I am your name. Why? Why should you say, I am Jumbo? Why? You cannot be defined without God. You cannot be defined without God because no object, no image can be defined without the object. No object, no image can be defined without the object. If you, anytime you want to define this, this image on my body, you have to define this image on my body with regards to this object. And that is why when you introduce yourself, you say, I am Jumbo. I am is the name of God. I am that I am. I am Jumbo. It simply means God Jumbo. Capital letter G-O-D Jumbo. I am a moving epistle. I am a living representation of uppercase G-O-D. But the devil wants me and you to fall short of that uppercase G-O-D to smaller case G-O-D-S. And that's what he ended up doing in Genesis chapter 3 verse 5. Genesis chapter 3 verse 5. I don't know why today is chapter 3 chapter 3. Genesis chapter 3 verse 5. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 2 and 3. We are on verse 3 verse 3. Chapter 3 chapter 3. Chapter 3 of Genesis. Genesis chapter 3 verse 5. But in 2 Corinthians, in 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 2 and 3. The devil wants me and you to become a representation of a lower case. The kind of blessing God wants to give to you, it should represent capital letter G-O-D. The devil wants us to fall short. This year, you will not fall short. In Jesus' name, you will, not fall, you will not disconnect. The only way me and you can fall short is to disconnect me and you from God. Is to make sure that we don't read this word. We don't have the divine word anymore. When you don't have the divine word, then how can you act it? How can you live your life according to it? Or if you do not have a relationship with the writer, which is God Almighty, how will you know what to do? How would you know how to bind? How would you know that God said, for this shame I'm going through, I have double? How would you claim your double? When you don't know God has provision of double for you, how? The devil wants to disconnect. And successfully, he disconnected Adam and Eve. But God had mercy. Let me tell you something, man of God, woman of God. Come with me in Jesus' name to the same Genesis chapter 3. Genesis chapter 3, and if God, if God will have mercy upon me to read it right now, very quickly, you see verse 21. You see verse 21. Let me show you that from the beginning, from the same place the devil decided to disconnect man, the Lord started to work out how man will be restored, but in a proverbial form. In a proverbial form. He told them how he's going to restore man again. He gave them a proverb, but they did not understand. He gave the devil a proverb, but they did not understand. But we understand stand today this proverb in the same genesis chapter 3 come with me to verse 21 look at what is written there bible say unto abraham also and to his wife hallelujah did the lord god make coats of skins i'm in england we wear coat of skins during winter so there is actually something called coat of skins the americans they know to coat from skins look at it so it says <coughs> Excuse me. It says he, he made for them, he made for them coat of skin and, uh, and and clothed them with it. He clothed them with it. He clothed them with it. If you very quickly, I'm sorry, let me just give this rema as you're praying along with me. When the mother of Esau and Jacob wanted to get the blessing from the father, which was her husband, to the junior, which was Jacob. Please, how did she get that blessing for the son, Jacob? How did he get the blessing? By putting something like this skin, like we have read in Genesis chapter 3, verse 21. 
God, the woman wore on him something like a skin to, to deceive the father. And the father felt it and felt it was Esau and released the blessing. That was a proverb of this same Genesis chapter 3 verse 21 of what God wants to do. Right now, myself and you, what are we doing? Romans chapter 8 verse 2 and 3. Now we are wearing Jesus Christ. We are wearing the skin. Bible say, I am not the one that is living anymore, but Christ that lives in me. God is like the father of Esau and Jacob. So today God is blessing me, not because of me, but because I am wearing the skin, I'm wearing the coat of skin of Jesus Christ. I'm wearing the righteousness of Jesus Christ. And Jesus confirmed in John 17 verse 22, the glory you have given to me, I have transferred it to Jumbo. I've transferred it to Jumbo. Now, Jumbo can wear it and be hidden in me and me in you, which is John 17 verse 21. So, Jesus has transferred the glory, the coat. This time, he has transferred to me the coat of skin. I am wearing, you are wearing like Jacob wore those coats and received blessings. That's why you cannot leave this mountain today without receiving blessing. That's why I am sure that for your shame, you will get double because you're wearing the coat. You're wearing the coat of Jesus Christ, the skin of Jesus Christ, the glory of Jesus Christ confirmed in John 17 verse 22. If you are not wearing that glory, if I'm not giving your life to Jesus Christ, don't leave this mountain without wearing that glory. Because not wearing that glory means you are disconnected. So you'll be a represent. You don't know, but you will surely be a representation of a lowercase g-o-d-s. That's why the man in Mark chapter 5 was a representation of demons, gods, legions of spirits because he was disconnected from God. So he had legions inside of his body he was a he was a moving more than a moving three-dimensional four-dimensional representation of the writings of the small letter g-o-d-s that's why he was eating from the graves that's why he was eating cups from the grave and screaming on top of the mountains oh! read that mark chapter 5 to understand the pictorial view he was a representation of demon moving on the streets that's why people could not pass that place but no sooner Jesus came, he made a, a reconnection. Somebody, Jesus is passing here today. Make a connection with Jesus straight away. And those lowercase g-o-d-s will leave your body. And today, you will become what God intended you to be. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. An uppercase g-o-d. Representation of God Almighty. Read Daniel chapter 6. Daniel chapter 6 verse 25, 26 and 27. And see where Daniel was a representation of the uppercase G-O-D. Can the lions eat their creator when they are not drunk? Can they eat their creator? Daniel was moving inside the lions then as what? As uppercase G-O-D. Then all the lions had to bow to their creator in Daniel. But no sooner Daniel was taken out and those who lied against Daniel was dropped in. Of course, all of them are representation of what? Lowercase G-O-D-S. The lions went all full force and had a full meal. Okay, if you do not understand this again, look at what happened with the three Hebrew boys. When they were thrown into the fire, can the fire eat up its creator? These people were an uppercase G-O-D in the fire. They were moving, really. The fire could not hurt them because they were fully representing God. Second Corinthians chapter 3, verse 2 and 3. They were moving a pistol. And thus the king said, oh, this is marvelous. I put in three people, I see four people. In the name of Jesus Christ. This year, when people see you, they will not see you. They will see four people. They will see the Holy Ghost. They will see God Almighty. They will see the power of Jesus Christ. They will see you. You are three in one. You are three in one. You are going to be moving this year with power and majesty. You will be moving this year and nothing can stop you. Why? Because you are a representation of the uppercase G-O-D. That is the mind of God. No demon will confuse us. No demon will make us disconnect. No demon will make us curse God. Whenever you see the devil attack you, attack me, attack you, attack me, attack you, attack me. God permit them. Why? God permit them because he knows what he's going to do. Isaiah chapter 61 verse 7. He knows he's going to give you double for that shame. He knows. He knows. He knows that very soon you will enter into harvest. Luke chapter 10 verse 2. The harvest is plenty. But there are a few laborers. Which laborers? There are a few three 
to four, somebody that is more than three to four dimensional representation of the writings of God. There are few people like that. May God make you one of such this year. May God make you one of such this year in your business. One of such this year in your family. One of such this year in all that you have finded to do. May God make you a moving God. May God make you a moving God. That's why some people when they pray, thunder will fire in the air. When they pray, thunder will fire over the powers of darkness. When they pray, thunder will fire over any evil altar. Why? Because they are full representation of who God is. Let me round up with this Acts chapter 16 verse 25. Acts chapter 16 verse 25. Paul and Silas were fully representing God. Though they were beaten as flesh, they were beaten as flesh and blood. But when they came into the prison, they did not disconnect. They did not disconnect. They had a reason to disconnect. Why? The Holy Spirit told them to go and preach. And when they got there to preach, they were beaten up. Instead of them to, to be allowed to preach, they were beaten up just because they decided to what? Command somebody that was a moving a moving three-dimensional, four-dimensional, five-dimensional representation of a familiar spirit. Demons. Giving evil and negative prophecies. But people could not know because it, we call it half-truth. It sounded like the truth, but it was not the truth. She was saying it under the influence of what? A small letter case, G-O-D-S. And Paul turned around and said, excuse me, what an insult. Don't you know that I'm of a higher dimension? I am an uppercase G-O-D. He commanded us to get out of her. They decided they took him to court. And because of that, he was beaten, put into the prison. So that he can disconnect from God. So that he can get out angry this year no matter what the devil does in your life don't get angry don't disconnect whenever you start to get those persecution please ask god for strength to refire instead of retiring refire instead of retiring refire that means you're up to something you're about to get to somewhere you are doing something on point that's why the attack is small that's why the attack is small may the lord strengthen you this year may the lord strength may your results speak for you in jesus name paul and Silas said okay instead of us to get disconnected what did they do they started to praise God. They started to praise God. They started to sing. They started to praise God. And more of God, they were connecting to God. More and more. People were watching them. Like, are these people, are they okay? They've just been beaten. Shh. They've just been beaten. It's because of this thing you did, you were beaten. They continued, they connected, they connected, they connected. They connected to a point, the gates could not stand anymore. They connected to a point, the chains could not stand anymore. They connected to a point, the power of God was literally seen. I prophesy over somebody as I enter into the spirit, I receive the grace of the apostolic, that as you represent God this year, as you represent God, the gates will not be able to stop you in Jesus' name. The chains will not be able to stop you in Jesus' name. Jesus name. Sickness, the pandemic will not be able to stop you in Jesus name. The fear of, of everything that is around will not be able to stop you in Jesus Because you are a representation of what? The uppercase G-O-D. You are a representation of uppercase G-O-D. Not the small letter G-O-D. Like the man. Immediately the man ran to Jesus Christ. You saw what happened. Immediately the man make reconnection. So if you are not connected to Jesus, just come to Jesus now. Just humble yourself. Come to Jesus like the man in Mark chapter 5. Immediately he came. He just stood there by the feet of Jesus Christ and Jesus said, demons, you see that ownership have changed. This person have decided no more to be a three-dimensional, five-dimensional representation of your writings. Now this person want to be of the writings of the upper case G-O-D. Ah, the demons say, okay, 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 let us go and possess that place. Jesus said, get out. Go! Hallelujah. Somebody, God is casting out anything that needs to be casted out because this year you will represent God. You will speak like God. You will talk like God. You will do like God. You will manifest the power of God in Jesus' name. When people see you, they don't need dictionary anymore to understand the Bible because you will become Bible made easy in the name of Jesus Christ somebody connect with God powerfully connect with the blood of Jesus Christ connect with God powerfully connect with the blood of Jesus Christ connect with the blood of Jesus connect with the blood of Jesus connect with the blood 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 everyone that is having shame is because double is waiting for you is because double is around the corner the devil is scared of you you are a threat to the to the pit of hell. Job was a threat, but they could not stop him. They would not stop you. Paul and Silas was a threat. They could not stop him. They would not stop you. Paul was a threat. They could not stop him. They would not stop you. The gates of hell, Jesus said, will not prevail against the church. I prophesy to somebody. The gates of hell will not prevail against your son. It will not prevail against your daughter. 
It will not prevail against your business. It will not prevail against your studies. It will not prevail against the church in the name of Jesus Christ. If you like to give your life to Jesus Christ, I have five minutes to round up. Please play, pray wherever you may be. If you like to give your life to Jesus Christ, straight forth your hand towards me. Say with me, Lord Jesus, I come before you. I confess any sin, every sin that I have committed, knowingly and unknowingly. I confess today. Have mercy upon me. Wash me clean with your blood and cleanse me completely with the power of the Holy Spirit. Say, I believe in my heart. Jesus died for me. He was buried for my sake. For my sake, he was lifted from the grave. Say, I believe in my heart. I confess with my mouth. I receive the salvation of Jesus Christ made free and made available for me. Every covenant that I have entered into prior to this time, every covenant that I have entered to prior to this time, I cancel and I destroy every covenant with the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. I destroy every covenant with the power of the Holy Spirit. I say today and I declare today I'm born again. I'm born again. I'm born again. Jesus, have your way in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Alpha Omega, I want to thank you. If you'd like to dedicate your life, say with me, say I dedicate. Say I dedicate. Say I dedicate my life unto you, Alpha Omega, and it is binding in Jesus' name. Praise God. <coughs> Today I present to you, O oh Lord, the living epistles. Today I present to you, O oh God, your armies here on earth. Today I present to you, O oh Lord, the, the latter church, the latter church that will represent the latter reign. O oh Lord, empower us to carry your presence, to fully represent what your word is on earth in Jesus' name. Make it easy for people to relate. O oh Lord, make it easy. Daddy, the fasting we are fasting today, Daddy, let it show in our everyday life throughout this year as we represent you in all totality. Daniel lifted up his voice and said unto the king, O king, live forever, because before I came, the Lord has sent his angels to close the mouth of the lion for me. Somebody under the sound of my voice, that will be a full representation of the writings of God in this year and years to come. May the Lord send ministry angels to minister unto you and your household. May the Lord send ministry angels to pave way for you and your house. May God make a way for you where there seems to be no way. Ah, Job did not fail, you will not fail. Jesus did not fail, you will not fail. Paul did not fail, you will not fail. The Lord who strengthened men of old, strengthened you in Jesus' name. In your life, it will be the God of what? God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It will be the God of Daniel, the God of Shadrach, Mishael, and Abednego, the God of the apostles, the God of Jesus Christ. The God that sent the Lord Jesus Christ. It will be that God. It will not be the lowercase gods in your life. You will not be a representation of such. You will not move from the uppercase capital G-O-D to a lowercase G-O-D-S. However, if you are that level, if you have truly given your life to Jesus Christ, this is the only way out. Genesis chapter 3 verse 21. The Lord made a coat of skin and wore on them. Today, I am able to speak not based on my righteousness. Who am I? Not based on my knowledge. Who am I? I am speaking because of the coat of the skin of Jesus Christ on me, which John chapter 17 verse 22 calls the glory transferred to me. Today that glory is available for you too. It is no more I that live but Christ that liveth in me. And Bible said that anyone that is in Christ is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. I am now qualified under God to represent these writings of this great God Almighty from generation to generation. You are qualified also because of the coat of skin of Jesus Christ transferred to me and you. He took my place. He took your place. He took our place. We all the debt we could not pay. We needed somebody to pay desperately. Thank God we have Jesus who took our place and paid it off. It is finished. Listen to me. Sickness is finished for this year for you. Setback is finished. Pain is finished. Failure is finished. Yes, your children, your household, it is finished. It is finished. Any negativity is finished. You are now set for greatness. You are set for upliftment. You are set for, to be a moving miracle. You are set to be, in Jesus' name, a living epistle. So shall it be. The Lord honor every prayer, every prayer, prayer, every prayer, 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 and soak with the power of the blood of Jesus. The Lord bless you here on earth and bless you in the world to come. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord increase you greatly. The Lord honor you greatly. The honor of God come upon you. In Jesus, even in the dream world, may the Lord fight your battles for you. That every man they know that you are serving the living God and you will join the apostle to say it can only be God. I see victory upon victory for you and your household. Not by might, not by power, but by the spirit of the Lord. Because his grace is sufficient for myself and you. Hallelujah. As we form this spiritual house, as we as lively stones or living epistles, First Peter chapter 2 verse 1, form 
whom this word spiritual house offering unto God spiritual sacrifices, it is acceptable unto the Lord, and the Lord will continue to open a door before us that no man can close. In the name of Jesus Christ, everyone sick, I bring into the faith clinic, and the power of the Holy Ghost is upon you now. Everyone who needs breakthrough, the power of the Holy Ghost is upon you now. Every area of sin, the power of the Holy Ghost is upon you now to give you double, 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 double in the land. In Jesus' name, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you, upon your house, upon whatever I am finding to do, upon whosoever is connected to you by blood. May the Alpha, Omega, beginning and end, grant you peace. The Lord grant you peace. The Lord grant you peace now and forevermore. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. So shall it be. I'm humbled. God bless you. Everyone fasting along with the apostle. We have two more days to go tomorrow and Sunday. Tomorrow we are on the YouTube. So if you want to join us on the YouTube, second to the last day of fasting, it's going to be hot, hot, hot. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be hotter than that of today. That's what God said. That's what his word said. The glory of the latter house. If you can, join us. To join us tomorrow on the YouTube, come to my Facebook profile, World Jumbo. This song in bracket who you are there's gonna be a link click on that link and it will bring you straight to the youtube channel praise god if you are in the youtube channel please make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel for us okay please make sure you do so and also press the red bell please type unbounded house to get into the channel if you are not there type unbounded house into the search engine of youtube search for it to bring you to the channel and on sunday we'll be rounding up with communion so make sure you have your communion item make sure you have a bread and make sure you have something that is not water make sure you have something colored even if it were to even if it's a tea or if it is coke or if it is a beverage of any kind but it must not be water for it to qualify to be communion, it must not be water because the liquid represents the blood of Jesus, while the flesh represent while the bread represents the flesh. So if you bring water, it will not pass for communion. But make sure it is even slightly colored with any red or any other color, it will pass for communion. Just not ordinary water. So that will be for Sunday. And I'll see you on youtube tomorrow please be, be careful people are using the name of men of god for different things we didn't send anybody to represent us in any way handle them with wisdom please we didn't send anybody but if you have to communicate to us use plus four four seven four three six one five seven six zero four plus four four seven four three six one five seven six zero four use the whatsapp to co communicate to us we'll be able to reach out to you back as soon as possible you can also if you so want to go ahead, use it for, for cash app or paper. But we strongly recommend WhatsApp. God bless you. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's been a glorious day. And I want to thank God for every man God is using to share the broadcast. Everyone typing. Everyone pressing the, the emoticons, the love, the like, and what have you. Everyone that is not even able to type but watching the broadcast. I just want you to know God sees you. God sees me. Those who are supporting the work and those who want to support and cannot now, God sees you. God sees me. One thing is sure, eternity will not, will not fail to reward all of us. God will reward you. God will reward me. God bless you. My name is Apostle Jumbo Isong. Permit me to sign out my usual way. God, punish the devil. Punish, punish, punish. The Lord rebuke the devil. Rebuke, rebuke, rebuke in Jesus' name. God bless you. Shalom. I'll be able to acknowledge everyone and and bless everyone, calling everyone, and most of the names, I'll be able to do that on YouTube tomorrow and on the last day of fast, which is Sunday. So until then, I live in the hands of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Baruch Hashem Adonai. God bless you. I love you all. Shalom. Bye-bye.